Hello, hello, my name is Sherelle, and welcome to another live stream playthrough of Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, uh, playing a little bit early today, um, only because I got some stuff going on, so gotta play earlier than usual. Um, so hopefully, um, it won't be too much of a problem for people that you like to come in. Uh, today, I figured I would play the Baba Yaga DLC, because apparently as I was reading into it, it doesn't really spoil anything, it's kind of like a side thing to do, so I figured why not spend this stream, which is going to be the usual amount of time, about an hour and a half, hour and some change, whatever. Uh, I figured I would do this DLC and then continue, if if I don't complete it in this stream, I'll finish it up next stream and then continue with the main story. So I heard there's like two DLCs in this game, and I didn't play them when I uh, initially did the first uh, playthrough of Rise of the Tomb Raider when it was on the Xbox with the time exclusive. Okay, sorry about that. And we start with a lot of fire. That's awesome. Okay, so... Alright. Okay. So, everything's silenced. Okay, good. Okay, alright, so the Baba Yaga is literally right there. I'm gonna go start that. Also, last time we were playing, um, there's a couple of things that opened up. Uh, but we'll worry about that later. We're gonna just strictly go for the Baba Yaga here. Not let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following Bravo Team. Okay. Obviously somebody here. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way. But find the native. We need to get some answers. in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. I wasn't even trying to do this, honestly. I was just trying to do the, uh, what you call it? I was trying to do the, uh, get to the DLC, but I guess I can try to find this person. <laughs> Lara and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Hey, Lee, what's going it? on, man? How's it I'm going? Nadia. I could use your help. <sighs> sure. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa 
always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. Yeah, so yeah, this is the DLC. Like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and do this for this stream. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Uh, if it runs the rest, uh, the entire stream, that's okay. Because apparently it doesn't uh, affect the main story, so it's something you can do on the side. And you get an outfit and a bow. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. <sighs> Thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Good old Baba Yaga. No safety gear. Nothing to protect the workers. <sighs> nice. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. That's good to hear. Jacob's people were forced to work here. Right. It should be good. I'm excited to do this DLC. Like I said, I didn't get to do it uh, when I played this on the Xbox. I just heard like a growl. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Yeah, I didn't get to play this on the Xbox. So I'm super excited. Something nearby. Oh God! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, you're so pretty! I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. You're too pretty. No. <laughs> when it comes to killing uh, animals in games. I don't really like killing them unless I really have to. Especially beautiful creatures such as leopards and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to kill them. Ah, oh, no more mushrooms. Usually... Usually, um, normal, like the wolves, they die instantly by the poison gas, but this leopard took three shots. He's like, not going down easy. Alright, here we go. Explains why it was closed. There's a trail here, well worn. from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. Sure.
hold more rifle ammo. Oh, that's a plus, right? I think I got like some sights for my gun. Yeah, it's already on there. better everything else but it's oh god I don't want to use no damn Uzi but the damage and recoil is down I'll stick to this bad boy unless I, I don't think I need the semi-automatic I'm used to a <sighs> nothing wrong with um a gun with a lot of kick that it fires slower what more can you tell me about the wicked veil Nadia my people stay far away from that place they have for centuries when the Soviets were here they tried to build an outpost in the veil they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the veil to help them settle the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. Damn. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. <sighs> yep, gotta love witch tales. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I would find it hard to also b believe that Baba Yaga is a real thing, but. No, you see it. Steady. God. Also, Laura, um, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. Up. You need to hear this. So I'll pause it for a second. Um, once again, I do have my windows open. I just want to say that in case we hear all the noises. Uh, it's a bit earlier today, but you, might, you may hear stuff. So I'm just going to give a little warning out there. Come here. We need it. Immediate extraction. What the hell is that? It's walking. Shit. Don't look down. Whew. Lucky I'm not afraid of heights. Did you hear that? That was the witch. Something's definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. <sighs> Whoa! Oh god. Because her body was turned back against the um, wall, so I couldn't turn around. <laughs> Damn it! Ooh, got it that time. <laughs> definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. I think they want to go that way. Can I go here? Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. Yep, just setting up my little um, rope things. <laughs> can't think of a name for them. Yes, can't do that one. Keep 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I should have jumped, but I still made it. Holy crap. <laughs> really hate that person below me smoking. Ugh. Just a strong you need to cigarettes. go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Which are we talking about? Scarlet Witch, the Temperance, the, the Temperance, the Wicked Witch of the West, Ice Cream Witch, which one? <laughs> well, we're find out, won't we? Which witch it is? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of witches. <laughs> Someone's talking at more. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, it's all kind of secrets now. Oh crap, it was up there? Oh damn it. Guess I better go back and get it. I like to try and get the secrets as I um Ooh, don't look down. Yes indeed. I didn't even see it um sparkling. Flashing, whatever you want to call it. Before. All right, should be a number one. Another one. It's over there. Sounds like a blowpipe. Uh, one of those pipes that you play on. What it sounds like. I think they're called blowpipes. I'm not sure. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> hmm. This was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. <laughs> Even more stuff for you to collect, Cheryl. So many collectibles. All right. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music. And from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery but to the strength of our faith. Hmm. Uh, give me one second. document in here. Uh, if I could lower the gate, I should be able to climb higher. There's nothing else. Wait, where's this one at? Where's this girl look at? Oh, gosh darn it. The Wicked Vale isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. Well, apparently I missed something up here, so <laughs> let's go back again. <laughs> darn it. Like I always say, get him now. 
This must have been a sensor to burn incense in, but it's been modified. Oh, what is what the incense smell like? You sure? Hey, oh. It's like going back and forth. God, man. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Still get it? Oh fuck. I'm dying on cliffs. This is crazy. Not enemies is killing me. Cliffs. <laughs> I thought she could maybe make it, but she was like, nope. Oh fuck. <laughs> the cliff will take your life. <laughs> oh god, you're scaring me now, Lara. Come on. Fuck my life. <laughs> Jesus! Good job, right? Right? <laughs> Alright, so I- please, I do not want to have to go back over there again. I swear to almighty. wind out here. I can hear that. That other wig is stuck. And there's a random ass bird nest up there. Sorry. Yoink. They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home. Just as it calls to me. Look at the pick on the wall. Oh, he's been held up by the machine, uh, by the little contraption like that. Huh. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I... This seems oddly familiar. Let's see here. Maybe... Maybe I could swing it somehow. But you gotta let it uh, go in order to swing it. Damn. It's not gonna do any good at that level. Gotta lower it. <laughs> Thankfully, there's a crack in the wall, so I'm gonna. Got to raise the old gate. Yes. Oh shit. Oh god. 
That was a loud sound in my ears. It really did make me jump for a second. Okay, well, first off, I... Gotcha. we got is this and there's something outside so all right open up let's see what's in of meditations on willpower. Inner strength. Oh, nice. Well, since that tomb's done, time to go after Baba Yaga. Slight detour. But on the way again. Oh, hello. A ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. It's got a couple holes in it, but someone 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 can still rock it, I mean. I mean, why not? Thank you, thank you, Lee. Looks really sturdy. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks like she could make it. I am falling off these cliffs like so bad today. Oh wow, way back here. Like, usually don't have trouble with the uh, cliffs, but damn, they're kicking my ass today. Cliffs that they're not going to be climbing. That's what they're doing. So. Looks like I have to make that jump, but maybe I didn't get much of a running start. Watch me die again. Watch me die again. Like, honestly, like, where else am I gonna go? There we go. She didn't get much of a running start before. There's a small camp here. Sounds like Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Do I want to go into the veil? Taking that axe. We got too many wind chimes. Come 
Come on, I am the one who's bad at games, not you. Stop it. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Just hit myself. Uh, I'll stop, Lee. <laughs> Nadia, I think oh, I shit. found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. This is pretty freaking cool. Nadia, oh, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil. To kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. It was not always so. I came from the west, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in a big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil. I did not know how to fight until I met her. Oh boy. His, her grandpa sounds like a really good man. Oh. Alright. I am liking this. anything from that one. Oh, those are two arrows of separate all targets. Hmm. Nerve to steal. A double shot sounds pretty good. Counter too. I'm gonna take that one. Just for those crazy mofos who like to run at you. I used to love using that skill in the last game. We just roll out the way and just go hi -ya! with an arrow. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. All about that bonus, man. Bonus. Oh shit. <coughs> Some sort of pollen drifting here. Flowers. What did you say? What did you say? I, I can't understand you. Something's wrong. There's 
You said it like that. Come Dad, here. Stop! Please don't. Oh, this is so cool! The crap. I am like this. Oh, you like this? <laughs> Alright. Supernatural stuff is always awesome. <clears throat> it's like back to the tornado, back to the roots. Oh, shit. House moves. I mean, that is such a convenient way to move. God, if only that was like a real thing. Oh, 
up, get up, get up. Bastards. Damn. Okay, I can't move. Ugh. That skill has helped my ass right now. A couple of bullets. from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. <clears throat> My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but that was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. <clears throat> he said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that, um, <laughs> with the rainbow. It's really cool. Very cool. Must be a way to break it down. from me on the surgeon's table. I tried Aww. to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counter-agent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. 
I will live. Hmm. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Maybe I can bring that bucket down closer to the door. Oh God! Yeah, okay, now see what this one does. To find some way of getting through that door. Yep, just taking a look at what I'm working with. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. Oh wow. Okay, I, I found something. One on of me. the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her and now she's gonna help save grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. So now I gotta hop back out there. Lovely. All right. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I went inside the wicked veil looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale but through a broken, filthy mirror. And Dad. I know intellectually it was all in my mind, but the gunshot is still ringing in my ears. Mm. There's something terrible going on in there, and while I don't believe that it is magic, it is extraordinary. I have to find out what's behind all this, but first, I have to find a way to see clearly.
Bum, bum. All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. Ooh, hello. All right. I'll start gathering the other supplies now. How a deer. shaking. Lovely place to store skulls. Oh, lovely. Flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Look at us. See what else is in here first. Since we're already down here. Give me all the coins. Nice. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmissions since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved uh -oh. in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses and I have snares set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. Yeah, that's true. Damien, the Prophet's Forge. Nice. My Greek is gonna begin. There was something moving out there. I don't I didn't see anything moving. Oh. So what I saw here. I think I can't Yeah, so I can't jump through there, so it's gonna be another way to get there. Hey, how's it going, dude? Hello. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably too far for me to make it. Yep. Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on that way. Okay. 
Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Gonna put you on a blue screen.
All right. Sorry about that. Had to quickly do something. Okay. camera this time. Two more seed pods and one more liver. cave here, which I actually have not explored yet. So I kind of want to light that one up. I wonder if the deer... Nope, did respawn. <laughs> I was hoping maybe for it would, like, respawn or something. Uh, there's another deer area uh, actually next to that one place. starting up at me somebody's nearby. <laughs> Need hands and hells and hands and grill. I guess you're, if you're lucky, or Lara Croft. <laughs> I know you like. Uh, I know you like the back order because the back order is the character. But what do you think about the whole sh sugars, whole face paint? I actually like the face paint as well. It's um, it's pretty badass. <clears throat> yeah, I like it, dude. Like his whole look is like, it's really good. Like he, like you were saying, uh, he's got like a whole like dark side to him now. Might as well, ex might as well explore this since I've not been in this one yet. <laughs> there we go. Need. 
I still want to explore that um, other cave though, just since I'm already here. I see you. Almost run for me. Look at it um, in just a second. I heard my phone go off. All right. So before we uh, continue the Baba Yaga stuff, I'm gonna. If I can pull that back up, please. Where did I mark it? All right. Let's explore this little cave real quick. I need to work on getting better at uh, double aim, like double shoot thing. group of them too. I'll let them live this time. this off if I would even get through it, so I'll come back to it later. Should be able to probably pull that. Yeah. Yeah. Called it. By pure luck. <laughs> you shot it in the butt. I did. Uh, let me look at this pick real quick. Da, 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 da. Oh shit! That's you and Kane. <laughs> that is a bad ass pick. Oh my god, that's really cool, Lee. Wow. I 
I'll take your bullets. Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Yeah, I I'm not trying to meet you, Jacob. I'm trying to <laughs> do the side stuff. Let me go save him real quick. But I guess it's, since it's in the same area, it's kind of gonna intertwine. I think about Dad every day. For years, I was so angry with him. For losing himself in his work, for chasing what I thought were fairy tales, I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young, that I couldn't understand, but I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far, but I know he's with me. The Divine Source is here. And I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. And me and him now teaming up. Here we come. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a, a, a team I would not want to fuck with. Alright. Now let's get to the Baba Yaga. Continue that. The Baba Yaga. Ba, 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 ba. She is... She's right over there. So I need to get that one. Another sculpture, but this one looks like a game. These pieces look familiar. I know I've seen something like this before. stuff I can since I'm down here. <laughs> Comrades, this report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, 
for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. in there. Oh. Just gotta get in there now. Yeah, there may be a two nearby, but I'm not trying to do that right now. Say no to bullets. All right. Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're. Oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Moving into position. Sorry, Laura. Damn. I'm under. Headshot. Barely missing his head there. Alright. Alright, dude. Headshot again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice gun. Our skill.
about them. That'd be good. That's a good one to have. Doing a quick save. <laughs> All right, let's get back up there. Is she up this way? Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks. Normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. All right. Scarecrows, of course. <laughs> that human uh, skeleton's looking at you. <laughs> That's so cool. A lot of scarecrows. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. Half expected him to still be here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother. Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But mm. I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the Gulag, it crushed hope, and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Aww. It's like the this is next major here. point. I must have walked right past it last time. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. 
just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! <laughs> it's bad. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Yeah, like I was saying, um, it's gonna get to like the ma the next major uh, like point, and then I'm gonna quit for today. Uh, definitely will finish this when I stream tomorrow and continue with the story, main story. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. Where I was fighting her. Yep. What the hell? Like someone was in here. <laughs> Just wolves. Damn. <laughs> yeah. You were fighting just normal wolves. Lovely. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. And then I will get on. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll definitely come in and watch you stream, man. Whenever you do. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners. They dragged Seraphima Aww. away to the veil. I tried to stop them. Fighting in the open, I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Bodies, sorry, 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 sorry. Oil on the ground. There's your magic fire. <laughs> no, not so much of a witch now when you're actually figuring out just a normal person. That's great. Now, this doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. Alright, well, this will actually be a good place to stop. Um, I didn't think I would finish the DLC today because, you know, it's a DLC and we usually take, an, you know, two, three hours. But, uh, hopefully when I stream tomorrow, I, we can finish this and then move back on to the main story. Um, pretty much, I'm enjoying the hell out of this D DLC. I can't wait to play tomorrow. 
So I hope you guys can come by and check it out tomorrow as I continue more Rise of the Tomb Raider. Uh, real quickly, before I cut the broadcast, um, I would like for you to go follow the chosen one, Lee Wyatt. He's about to do Crash Bandicoot, I believe, today. So definitely go check him out. <laughs> he's He is such a... Uh, he's so fun to watch, especially playing uh, Crash Bandicoot. You guys will enjoy him. Get a good giggle, giggle out of it. So, all right, I'm off. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day, night, wherever you're at. And I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Again tomorrow, sorry. With more Rise of the Tomb Raider. Later, guys. Bye.